Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of SRB TV. I am of course Kristen. I am Christopher. And how do you, I forgot how you say it in German. It's Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> say it! Say it! I know, I no, I actually Okay, well yeah, I'll say it. So Make this is of course our reaction to the dark series finale, season three, episode eight. The Paradise. Now, of course, you guys are watching on YouTube premiere right now, so we thank you for watching, tuning in live to this pre-recorded reaction. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, but we're gonna quickly summarize this because we want we get want to get you guys straight into our reactions. Our reactions. And like last this. episode was kind of after last episode was kind of like a pre so, like a so basically to summarize it all up. Uh, the finale tied up all the loose ends, most, mostly like 98 points. The last episode of, kind of filled up Tied all up that. all of loose ends, and we're finally back to Adam trying to break the loop, which he thinks he's failed, but then future Claudia yeah, shows, shows up, up and, and tells him there's more to it than what you think. Yeah, and that's where we ended off at, and whew, a lot of things are going to happen. Things are going to go down, so enough chit chat. Yeah. Let's dive into this for the series finale of Dark. Season one, uh, season, I keep going back to season one. Season three, thank you. Season three, episode eight, The Paradise. So, let's dive into this. So much fucking trouble. This is where it all started. Is this where we get to, did they ever actually show it? I don't remember. Did they ever actually? No, show they him? never did. They just found. They remember. They just reported they found his body, and he was hanging. Oh yeah, yeah. We were coming back to uh, like Joe's coming back from like uh, therapy yeah. and stuff like that. Because now we're seeing like in a way the third world, and I think she discovered. And I think it's the world. The world that gave birth to him. That's who we were following! We're following where the third the world mistake, version mistake. of the scientist. Yeah, where, he, where there was a single mistake that was made. The origin world. He's is the origin world. Like you. Remember, we didn't see what happened afterwards, you remember? Wow. It does explain why they give him the blueprints in both timelines. Yeah. So it goes back to stopping the other guy. Okay. To save both worlds. Okay, so let's break this down. <laughs> let's break this down. So let's break this down. So, future Claudia, he, I don't get why he's baffled by future Claudia being alive. Because we already know she's already been everywhere. Like, yeah. everywhere. So yeah. her coming to this point, Knowing full well her fate in the end means she died knowing full well she was probably finally able to stop it. That's why. I think she was satisfied with me her fate. That explains that. So now we get the scientist, the one we didn't feel like necessarily had a complete tie into everybody else's story, is the one who's caused this all in the first place. The original version of him yeah. caused this by creating the trying to create time travel, he destroyed his own world, causing the creation of these two worlds. So in order to break the knot, to end all of this, they have to kill all. Well, they, they They have to stop him, they stop him from ever using it. That's the yeah, ever using the machine. That's the thing. So I think she had, she realized she had to get to Jonas. She, that's the reason she went to Jonas first. She went to Jonas because she's like, she knows she already has a connection. And that line, that line, we always heard from her that like, we oh, I already saw the other world, you know, where you don't exist, it didn't work out. Something tells me she already knew. Yeah. For the first time. This is all fresh. I love how our annual of something new. Fresh, this is fresh, where they don't know. The question is, I get to the other world. The gun. Yeah. And this is why she shoots the Jonas we were following. Yeah. Oh. 
See, now she is, because of what we just found out future Claudia told us, now we realize that Ava really is the villain. Yeah. She still has no idea. Oh. Okay, so Chauncey wasn't her. So he wasn't. He wasn't the father. Okay. Okay. That yeah, question that was answered. Yeah, that one was answered. Okay, yeah, all the questions part. answered. End of show. Ava's world, he did it. When he was, was an, an adult. adult. Damn, he messed him up big time. Damn. Oh, yeah, he fucked him up hard. So, according to what he's saying, what she's saying, she thought about the third world, she figured out about the third world because there has to be a world where Gina lived. Mm -hmm. So that's where she predicted, like, there is an origin world. There is a prime. Like I said, Earth Prime, the main primary one. Oh, do we really have to see him fuck him up here again? I know, this right? This would be more brutal than uh, we did this to the child. Mm -hmm. oh, the time. Ooh. I know this whole time. So he's the origin world, so he's all in all of this. So he's got he's to change his own path again. So Ava knows about this, which is bonkers. So in that split moment, the world, the both of their worlds get destroyed. Yeah, that's a fraction of a moment is when everything changed. Every, anything can change. And so he needs to go back, give them the orb, and they have to go to Origin World and stop time travel from happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's kind of difficult. That, that's, that's, that's like... Yeah, that's difficult the way you just did. That's a long shot. shot. I guess he did, that was a quick shot. To be fair, I think he's desperate at this point. And this is and this is origin world. Is it? That's what she that's what uh, future Claudia said. We'll see. So ich allein It's a team effort. <laughs> it's just as much fair ball. It's a, it's more like it's an equal problem. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> Only together can you return to the original world. Oh, that's what we know is a drug. Okay, here we go. He has to stop them. He has to encounter, he has to get, encounter them before Francesca. The future Francesca and Magnus show So he's got to get to them first. Shit. Now this is all different now. Now we don't know what's coming. Now we don't know what's coming because like you said, this is all fresh and new. Finally, in the finale, it's all fresh and new. Come on. You gotta find her. Come on, find her. Come on. I want a happy ending, goddammit! Fucking ever. Right, right when we get close. It was when he cut through the shortcut, remember? Because that's Yeah, when he go on the shortcut, that's where he can have his future Magnus and so He's gotta up. get to them. Aw, oh, shit. These guys. Dude! No, he's gotta run into her! And grab her! Go! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on. Run! Come on! Smart move! Cause he had to hit him! Now up! Right here! Explain! Explain, Explain before you lose her, man. Explain! You guys hear me in the middle of the street. I hate when people say it on the street right now. <laughs> it's just because that one death in front of this nation. Shit. That was like the with, with now, But see, for Adam now, it's the waiting game. It's the waiting game. He doesn't know. Because if this works... He went to Ava's. Oh shit! Shit! He went, he to, went to Ava. He went to the the, the the other world, Am's world. Damn! Oh, 
there. That line. We are the mistake. The glitch in the matrix. Pretty much, that's what it is. It's funny how this line works so well. It works perfectly though in this. It's like we're the glitch in this matrix. It's never exist. Look like the loop's still going on. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna do it. Oh, yeah, he's oh, changing I'm sorry. It. Sorry, did he's you think that had bullets? He's changing it. He's changing it. Because now, because he knows the truth. What, why should I change? Why, why, why should I continue this path? Since he knows the loop can be broken now. Yeah. Shit. It's it's not there. This one's the Biden day. He was. No, they have to be in that exact moment, though. Oh yeah, that's right. They have to be there in the exact moment so they can go back, stop him. So oh, save, his save, family. save the family, pretty much. So at that exact moment, they get warped back to when his family died. Mm -hmm. You're wasting time here. Can we stop sitting here and go? They, they give him a sec. You know, sorry, I'm the fatter in space and time is being split into thirds. You can give him five seconds, dude. That was more than five seconds. Okay. Where are we? When are we? Whoa! When they met a bridge, were they literally, literally a bridge? She's on a different one. Or she's probably on a separate one. I like think about it, their own worlds and they they have to both converge like right onto like that one world. They seen the origin world versions of themselves. Himself? That'd be a shit, that'd be a great twist there. I mean women still exist. The townhouse still exists, so it is theoretically possible that they can still exist in the origin world. Yeah. Weißt du vielleicht alles über Einstein Rosenbrücken und schwarze Löcher? Aber über mich so you're telling me that you could have stopped all of this if you guys went to counseling? <laughs> really? Really? If you guys actually talked it out like a normal, normal people? God damn it! That that line right there is the entire this premise of this entire show. You can't choose your family. I don't even know if they know what to say. Say something! You both look. The bridge is closed. There you go! The bridge is closed. There was an accident. No! The bridge is out! What we know is a drop. Is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. What, what his father always said. Your father loves you. Oh my god, did they do it? Come on, shush. I think he believes him. The way he said it. Because remember what his, he said about his father? He's always into everything about the bridges, about cause and effect, about every galaxy, stars, everything. So what he just said, what his father's always said, and nobody else has said was just spoken by two complete strangers. Yep. There is no such thing as coincidence, and your father taught you that. No, we can't celebrate. We just because now they're going back the opposite direction. Okay. Well, that's now. Now we gotta see how this all plays out. Now. Quiet. Now we gotta see how this all plays out. Because if it works, they should vanish, right? I don't know. We gotta see. You know what, I'll give you that. I won't make a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, give you a, I'll give you that. Just... Wow. Out of all the cool songs they've done, they end with a cover of this song. Oh man, look at that. Foreshadowing. Hugely. Wonderful world. Okay, no, no. Oh. 
Oh, it's Claudia, Regina, There's Regina. I pray to him. Ah. They're all okay. They're all there. Wait! Oh, this guy! He's with Polar! With Popeye's arms! You know what? It explains, though. If you think about it. Wait, but who's... Looks much better. Shush! What happened? I swear to God, if you fade up like right now, we're sure. God damn it! What a noise I! Oh my God. Oh my God. You do. You do. Here it is. So that was the series finale episode. Like you said, we had to end on Hannah. I just I find it weird. After all we go through, we end on Hannah. Yeah. With Wooler of all people, and we don't get a fucking answer about what happened. All we know is it happened last summer. Ah, and then it was cut. Okay, theories. Oh god, no, 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 let's just jump into the Theory. No, 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 let's just jump into this finale review. No, no, no. No! No, it was, he, he got his eye scratch, that's it, go on. That's it. Alright, let's dive into this now. Go on, what's your name series finale? No, 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 I thought it was fantastic. They did a great job. It was, pretty much, it was interesting, like you said, because it was uh, fresh new meat. Like we said, it was like more of like, this is the first time in this episode where we're like, where pretty much even the main characters have no idea what to do next. Because it's like, before it was like everything was planned out. Everything was put like a puzzle piece. Yeah, I think, like yeah, that. that's what this episode su succeeded with the most is that, um, crap, my mind went blank. Crap. Say it again, what were you, you saying? About pretty much how the character, the, the main characters, they have no idea what to do next because everything was always, they always laid everything out to set up the path. Yeah, that's what worked about this episode was that it was not, Predetermined. Nothing yeah. was predetermined from that point forward when Fluke Future Claudia showed up. You know, nothing was predetermined. It was actually it, so interesting seeing, after multiple episodes, everything being predetermined, seeing something not predetermined. And that's what made this episode so fascinating. Yeah. Like, and you know, it is ironic that in the long run, what started all of this was what started Adam and Ava's dream, which was the loss of a loved one. Yeah, you know that's what that, that that's all that's all it was. It was just the loss of the loved one, and, and it just it was like a, a complete. Again, I keep saying it like 180 with the with the show where it's like where it all started. We saw the the timekeeper in his shop and stuff like that, and then it all comes right back to him still, you know, and his loss. Um, this is a like I said, great finale because everything kind of wrapped up in the last episode, and this episode was more of just like okay, now we can successfully just wrap up the story. You know, tell them where to go through and things like that. Uh, you know, now it's like, now you're dealing with it's like his mistakes. It's like what went on, what Claudia had find, had figured out and found out. To be fair, the only, that was one part I found bonkers about the epilogue scene was that Wooler winds up with Hannah. That just caught me off guard. I'm like, I'm trying to think I'm like, okay, so if this is a world where nothing happened, and other worlds happen here, okay, so like that could happen. Mm -hmm. It can happen here. But it feels like, from even the, the, where they're showing up, they don't say it, but even when they're listening to her, it sounds like, like what you stated, it sounds like they all have that feeling, but she's the only one really that's kind of confessing. You know, where it's like she they remember, feel, yeah, cause she remembers, they feel like they remember certain things. She remembers her old alternate world life and then wakes up from it. Yeah, so it's and like, now wants to name her kid Jonas, which is like, like I said, it's like it feels like just that world like coming, the coming now coming together. It's like okay, it's clicking. It's like all the memories she may have had is the kind of like 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 seeping its way through to to her. So for her, it feels like deja vu. Yeah, and so with with her naming him Jonas and not being connected to Mike Mikel, Mike, then that means there's probably a moment in the future for them 
that they do wind up together and are not related. Yeah, yeah, of course. More than likely. But it's interesting. Like we see Fran we see Francesca there. We see um was it Peter with his uh sister? I think it's a sister. I believe uh, so. And we see Regina, which in all honesty, that was the biggest positive. That was the biggest positive because we're seeing because Claudia said we do this Regina you know, lives. is alive. She's a, she and lives. she does live. Regina does live. And you saw, too, she had a happy life with her parents. Yeah, she had a happy, satisfying life. You know. So I was trying to figure out who the older man was. I don't know. You guys can probably tell us there because I have no clue. I think that was uh, Doppler. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, but, yeah, uh, the, the ending with... Just find out, all right, all, all the music, because they've done their own music, the end is a cover of What a Wonderful fits, World. But I think it fits the it, it fits what's going on with everything. It kind of fits with, you know, things are now back to normal, the way it should have gone. Yeah. You know, it, it's like everything, you know, now they don't have to suffer anymore going through this loop over and over again. So it's it's a wonderful world now they're going to be in. Because you know? it was funny too is Adam's theory wasn't even right about breaking the loop. Neither their theories about breaking The only one was future Claudia who once again... Came through in the end. <laughs> she came through in the end, and like and, and like she said, pretty much, you know, it's time travel. You know, we're trying to do yeah, anything except and, possible. And it's funny too, because she thought about him like she's like, there has to be a world where Regina lives, because in both worlds, Regina dies. So why isn't there a world? If that's what we're to believe, how multiverse works, is shouldn't there be a world where Regina lives? So that's where I like how her theory kicks in with the whole, this is you know, there is a third world because of that. You know, which is really cool. Um, I, I, yeah, I, think I guess the only question is, yeah. how did they wind up? How did Claudia figure out how to travel to the Earth? Wait, well, you know, did they explain that? No. N they didn't really explain that part. She just kind of theorized. That's what she stated. So, yeah, so I guess she theorized at the la like in that fraction yeah. to travel to the other world because yeah. it's, it's the core but they world. But ha they have to be there. The other world, Jonas, and the other world, uh, uh, Martha, they have to be in that exact moment because they're both from separate worlds that we get just to go to the Oh, and let's not forget our favorite part of this episode. Yeah, I was bringing up. A favorite moment of this episode was just the way fucking Jonas just pretty much activated the ran right, right into AM and just bam. And their reaction was just like, like, because they see Jonas, they're like, what the? And it's like, bam. That was just the smoothest move I've ever seen in the series right now. Of that, pretty much. Of jo for Jonas. That was really well done. Like you said, really good solid series for yeah. It's kind of one where it tied up. It's funny, it's tied up all loose ends the episode before. So then this one can, can give it a nice proper ending to where it doesn't really need to explain everything. It's already done that in the episode before. Yeah. Which I thought was very ingenious of the writers and how they put this together. This was very smart. Because it's like they wanted to leave the finale as open as possible so then everything's already explained and you just have to watch the rest of the way through to see where it goes. Yeah. So season three overall, your thoughts? Season three was insane and in a good way. Um, season three pretty much, it, it tossed us up and down a roller coaster at this point. And that's what a series should do. It should bring you, you should have those ups and those downs and those like like crazy loop de loops like what the hell just happened? It's, it did such a good job of deceiving us. Yeah. Thinking that what AM was trying to do, what um with the Joe's Griffon was trying to do was trying to switch everything up, when in actuality it's not exactly what we thought. Yeah. The way they they they, they tricked us from like thinking one thing and all of a sudden switching to another thing and then it does it again where they're like, wait a minute, it's a double agent type of thing or just double double cross type of thing, you know, it's like the way they did the season was very good and was very, like I said, everything flowed together. You know? Yeah. And then, like I said, they wrap, what was cool is they wrapped up everything in the second to last episode. Yeah. They so of, they can make room to really dive into this whole, like, oh, there's a third world. There's a third world. And, they, and, they, and, they, and what's great is, I, they explain, Claudia, Future Claudia explains it just enough to where you're not seeing they're completely confused. Yeah. You know exactly what it is. And they hint at that in the second, in episode seven, they hint at that too by not telling you about Tan House. Yeah. About that not being a Tan House that you and I know. What they did smart was that instead of like keeping it short and brief and still having like all these questions like, yeah, but why this? But why that? But why this? 
episode seven was perfect only because again it helped us weave all the rest of the pieces together to help understand it so that we don't have any extra questions going into the finale and that's what really I think really drove the power the really drove it drove, drove the rest of the season three successfully pretty much it got to that point and it just it was like it was it was all downhill there I mean not down well you know what I mean like where it's just like it's smooth sailing from there you yeah know? I mean there wasn't necessarily bad episodes but it does feel like there were some episodes that could probably be a bit shorter or explain it a bit more clearer instead of being its usual dark being vague yeah. about it. But I think that's what works though. It's That's what helps it because it's like they want people to question. They want people to continue watching and driven into like, I gotta watch the next episode. I gotta watch the next episode because it's like they want to drag you. I mean, yeah, there's maybe little bits here and there they could have taken out, but not, not a lot. Just very hints of it, just little bits. But the rest of it is fantastic where it flows to make you want to watch the next episode. To continue watching the next episode. Believe me, there are anticipations where I'm like, I really wanted to watch the next episode over. And, you know, next episode, next episode. Yeah. Because it's like you wanted to see what happens next. Um, and it was just, the season three was fucking fantastic. I mean, each season, I think, on its, you know, each season pretty much, I think, built up on its own. Where season three yeah. was just... Well, yeah. Overall, like, I would say I loved... I overall I really enjoy what season two brought overall. Yeah, now now for yeah, series really, review and series review no, overall, overall. No, no, I'm just I'm placing it. I'm just placing it. For me, I would say oh, sorry. Well, season three, what I wasn't as groundbreaking and amazing you as season, season, season two was like. I saw season two. They went hog wild with the whole Adam thing about yeah. who's who, what's what, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on. I feel like season two did now. Not, and something again, season three. I still think season three was great but it still kind of felt like the same thing that season two brought just from ava's point of view instead yeah in a way and it kind of like kind of like tackled on this item we already knew about and it wasn't even really till episode seven where things finally everything finally started making yeah sense. Started making it's sense. still a good season yeah. there's still a lot of twists and turns with ava and am's world yeah, but that's my opinion. I, I don't well, see that's the series review. Then that's what we're talking about. No, 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 no. Sorry, <laughs> that's what we're pretty much talking about right now. Then sorry, no, no, no. I'm no, n I'm not getting a series. Uh, sorry, I'm just saying that I thought season overall. I think season two was the best season, but now we can go into series review. But I thought we were already in series review. Now we're in series review. Now we're in in series review. <sighs> in, in in. No the series itself though was just phenomenal. I see. You know, you know, and it's, you know what's funny? It started as we people were calling it like Stranger Things. They were calling German it Stranger. They things. were like calling it Stranger Things, uh, uh, German Stranger Things. But it, it's actually more than that. It's way more beyond what Stranger Things is. And that's why I say season two is so amazing. Because season one, you're like, what the fuck? Season two really makes you go, what the fuck? You yeah. know? Especially at the end where AM shows up. Um, but go on, serious. No, no, no. But uh, like I said, it's just. It's just fantastic because the way the series is set up and in a sci-fi series, this is what you want. You want pretty much, you know, intrigue. You want, you know, the, those questions every single episode, those questions about, uh, you know, questions up, upon questions and questions. And then, you know, they're slowly are be, being answered, but still giving you more questions. So it's like, it's the type of thing where it's like they keep your intrigue running. They keep you interested in what's happening. And that's what the series did successfully. And that's why, you know, some people are like still considering this has to be one, just a, 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 like, a, I'm not the greatest, but all, like, a, like a great sci-fi series to recommend to anybody for Netflix. You know, because everybody has their own list of what's, they consider the, you know, like greatest sci-fi series ever. You know, and this could be on their top, this, to, to me, honestly, I have a list and this is going to be on that list. For, you know, for a greatest sci-fi series overall, because it's like, but I don't have her. It's like I don't know where to place it, but it's up there, you know. And you know, even you got Stephen King mentioning stuff in his tweets, going re recommending the series, how he's drawn into this series. He was like, "This is a fantastic series." Yeah, dark. Yeah, dark overall was like, I would say, I I, I can't really place it right now. I would I would need time to really process that. But as of right now, I think dark is easily one of the best. Uh, science fiction shows Netflix has come out with. Yes, exactly. I can easily say that it, it's one of, if not the best, because and it's not, it's one of their international shows technically too, mm -hmm. and they they grew a whole audience around this show, and 
it's just really well done. There's it was well done put together. Um, it's it wasn't law. It, it, you know, I was worried at first that it would have lost fights by the end of the show. By the end of the series, it would have lost fights. Especially when you're dealing with time travel, there's like rule, set of rules, but also you have to be careful with time travel because, you know, just the, the whole paradox type of thing or just, you know, the certain rules you have to follow. Yeah. And they I think it right. that's, it's easily one of the better time travel related things I've seen in recent years. Yeah. Because they not only, pun in, not intended, but kind of intended, put you in through this loop about like everything going on, still made you question everything, so we got more questions than answers, and then by the time it got to episode seven of season three, it was like, okay, like 98% of this makes sense now. Well, there's that 2% that was explained in the, in the series finale. Yeah, exactly. And they did it so well. Like, there's still like, Looper, I love Looper, but there's still so many questions oh, yeah. on Looper. So many fucking questions on Looper, like so many loose ends and plot holes. Mm -hmm. Here, they did, somebody can probably nitpick it to find it, but as far as I'm concerned, there really wasn't a, like a loop, uh, not a loophole, like any like plot holes or like, you know, any things that didn't make sense timeline wise. Yeah. If it was, that, if, it, there, if that was a plot hole, eventually that plot hole will get filled in a later episode or a later season or in this episode seven. Or if it, or if it didn't feel like it was explained well enough, they later explained it even more. Like, yeah. of course, when Claudia explains how she came up with this theory with the difference between Am Ulrich uh, attacking Helgi and R Ulrich attacking Helgi, you yeah. know, there was a dip, there was a clear differences, but everything was the same. She explained it more. That's why I like. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad this wasn't like a movie or anything. Oh yeah. Because like there were so many plot holes. Here, they were given enough time, enough episodes, enough seasons to explain every little thing, every yeah. little detail. Every they, they didn't need to dive into like, oh, we're gonna do this in 20 episodes. So no, this was actually, they, I mean, it felt, I mean, yeah, all together it was probably around that, you know, um, and, but then it's like, but that's just one season, you know, but it's like oh. they separated just this and gave it the right amount of length for each episode. And the other thing is, each season. Yeah, and the other thing I like too is, they weren't afraid to go there with things. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah, Jonas and Martha are a cute couple, but they are technically related, you know? And they weren't afraid to go there with, like, oh, some yeah, of the they elements were not. They or were, subject matter. They were not matter. afraid. And then the best thing about the series is just the casting. Holy crap, man. Very well done. Like, the casting on the future versions of themselves. Future and past. And past. Versions. They just... They nailed it. I mean, the first one we realized was fucking Ulrich. When we saw the older version of Ulrich, you're sitting there going, good God, that guy just looks dead on what he would look like if he was older. You know, he looked dead on. And that was, the, and then from there, it went even better with the other actors. And it's like, the casting of this was fantastic. They did a phenomenal job, you know, casting in this series for the future, past, and present. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. But there is a part in Perry Mason where you're not gonna believe it, and then you research a line, and then you believe it with that with that subject. But yeah, you know, yeah, actors yeah, yeah. look similar. I won't say anything else. But yeah, very well done acting on on finding the past, pair, and present characters, and just overall like. Nobody was perfect in this show, isn't there? Yeah, yeah that's why nobody like, was perfect. Nobody, no, everybody was flawed at some point. Like the the, the most genuinely sweetheart person was probably Katarina mm -hmm. because she went through uh, probably went through an abusive relationship mm -hmm. with her mom. Fuck her mom. Um, but so many like nobody was nobody was perfect. Everybody had their flaws and the way their we, issues and things like that. It, it was, was about good. It was about. Nobody People, was perfect. Nobody was perfect, and yeah. that was the point. Everybody wanted something in return, and that was the whole premise of the show overall. We saw it there. You can't. You no, know, remember the first. You trailer. can't choose your family. That's what she said, and that's the line of the series. You can't choose your family. Yeah, it's the underlying current. Mm -hmm. Like you know, we you know, Charles can never accept that Noah is her biological father. Um, Jonas can't accept what he what he becomes or what he does to Marfa in the end. Yeah. And what Mar who Marfa really is in relations to him. You know, Hannah is always gonna be a bitch no matter what universe we're in. But she's still his mom, Jonas's mom, and she still is such a bitch. 
change. I know, I know. But um, <laughs> that was so great. Is and that the show? Nobody was perfect in that show. Nobody got off unscathed. Definitely nobody got off unscathed. Yeah. Both worlds, two the two worlds that were created because of Tan House were were wiped. Yeah. But you can see it in like the stranger's face. You yeah. can see it in both future Claudia and like not so future Claudia's faces. Yeah. That they know what was going on. They were happy in the end. Regards of anything they did to get to that point, they were happy about what was going on. Even future Claudia knows that. Knows that. Because she knows her I I bring this up in the reaction. She knows her fate. She's happy. Yeah. Because she knows full well, regardless of the sins she's caused, of sins she's told other people she to do. She knows that Regina is going to come out of this alive. She, Regina is going to live. Yeah, that's all she They wanted. made the sacrifices. Imperfect people made the sacrifices so the other imperfect people can live and be better off. Wow, that's that I didn't go, think I go that deep. Yeah, you got really deep with it, but no, this series, that's like I said, this series was fantastic. If I had like I said, if I had to recommend this to people, this is a show I would recommend, <laughs> but just give them a warning going, you must pay attention. You gotta spit you know, watch the details. You know, stay specific, read the details, read between the lines, just watch it, you're gonna enjoy it. And like I said, this series was fantastic. Um we're not gonna dive too much into character development because there's like so many characters. I think we're. I think I though. think we're gonna focus. I think we should focus on the two. Yeah. But we'll talk about any more unique side characters. Yeah. So as of right now, it's obviously Jonas and Marfa. Jonas, the one that pretty much it all kind of like focused on and started in season one, and just just his his path to where he was going and everything. It's like you feel for him. You do. You know. He's like he's just trying to follow. He just wants this all fixed, and he's trying his best. Yeah. And it's like these paths are being set up for him, and left and right, and just the, it's like you felt for him. You really, it's like he just want everything to go back to normal. That's it, you know. And the stranger getting involved, him, you know, himself getting involved, and just oh, we can do it. We can do it that way then. Jo so we're talking about Jonas. Just the, the, the old Jonas, ball. the stranger, and Adam. Yeah. So go on. But you know, and for Jonas, it's like you—it's like he just wanted to fix things. He's just trying to follow, you know, what he's being told. Going, okay, how do I fix this? How do I do this? And he's just trying to follow, and that's why I love it to the point where it's like that moment where he's just like, you know, everybody's alone. What the hell? You know, it's like I need. It's like it's like I need to be. I just want to fix this. How do I fix this? Mm -hmm. You know, and a stranger. You know, he's just, he was about the same way where he's like he's doing the best he can to try to fix all this. You know, it's showing all this time, this past, and everything. He's trying to fix this, and that's why you see him. So that's why you showed him, and it showed him why he was so happy. When yeah, he was disappearing because he, because that knew. meant he knew he did it. He did it. He fixed it. Well, yeah, he fixed it. You know, in his mind, he thinks I fixed it. I did it. You know, he fi figured it out. He put it together. You know, it's like his, that relief. You know, and Adam, Adam was just to that point where it's like he's had enough. He like got to a point where. He's tried everything he could, and he finally figured out, you know what, this is what we got to do. You know, it's like, he's got to continue the path, but then it's like, all this has, ha has to happen. You know, and just, you understand all three of their journeys of why they did what they did. You know, and I love that about Jonas. That's why I love And in the end, the Jonas we've been following the whole time is the one who, who did who it. Who finally does, you know, essentially do it. You know, who finally pieces every, you know, finally is the one that actually go and actually fix it physically himself, you know, with Martha. And you know, and what's great is too, he isn't on that set path for a lot, uh, you know, for not all the time. Yeah. There, you know, of course, his interaction with AM, thinking he can change it. His um, the the way he treats everybody, telling him what to do, like what when Future Clyde originally tells him what to do and what he has to do. Mm -hmm. You know, to tell Adam telling him what he has to do to you, you know, everybody, you know, he wasn't on a set path. He just wanted to fix things. Yeah. And he was doing whatever to hell. He even trusted Adam at the end. After every that meant what that after, meant after, not yeah. five minutes earlier. Yeah, he came in and shot Martha, and it's like, but it's like it's that it's that gut feeling. That's what I love about uh, Jonas, where it's like he's going with his gut feeling, going, why would myself do something like this? Why? Yeah. There's got to be re that's why it's like it makes sense of like why he started trusting him. Why he's like. You know what? Fine. Let's see if we can fix this. He's being genuine here. Why would he come back and tell me this? 
I think he yeah. just shot her. Yeah, and like you said, overall, he's like just a good person who's just being dicked over by time travel. Oh, yeah, and there's those moments where you feel for him, where he's just like, I just want to fix this. Then there was, yeah. And, and then... Okay, so technically, Jonas is the main character of this entire show. But I'm season still, three, yeah. they give us another main character in form of AM, alternate Marfa, yeah. uh, other world Marfa, pretty yeah. much. That's when at the end of season two was really opened it up for season three. So pretty much AM, all the Marfas, you know, that showed up at that point, and of course Ava herself. Yeah, and and like like it's the same with with again, it's, it was the same with Jonas, you know, her. her it is about the same in a way, you know, where it's like, they just, she just wanted to fix this. You know, that's all she wanted to do. Yeah. You know, that's essentially all she wanted to do. The only di there's only difference, there's differences in how it all happened. You know, and, you know, Adam wanted to destroy the world because he thought, okay, let's destroy it to fix this all. She just wanted to keep it going. I mean, and what's great is in episode eight, they do, they do explain that. No, no, episode seven. Episode seven. Seven, they explain. They explain that. Like, the reason she's doing this is because she doesn't want to lose her child. Yeah. Because as far as she knows, that her child is the origin. The that's, trio. What she assume, that's what she assumes. You know, the, the trio are the actual... So they never explained, I just found one, where the fuck the child got the scar. That is true. They never, or unless one of the actors they got had a scar. And they just went with it. And it was good enough to work. okay, we just need to, if we are get to her, we just need to add a scar. We just add the scar for the I have a feeling that's the case, and that's why they didn't bring it up. Probably. No, but, well, um, like I said, but hers. Her ambition wasn't to get back with Jonas, it was to keep her children alive. That's all it was. No it matter was. how often she would die consecutively in contact. But at the same time, that's why I loved about Adam and Eva, you felt for them. You actually, they made you feel like what they wanted. Because they're that's where, that's why I loved about the series is where there are times when you felt the emotion from them. You understood where they came from, but there are times when you're like, wait a minute, are they the good guy or the bad guy? I can't really tell here, you know, type of thing. And that's where they really psyched you out. That's where they really got you going where you're like, I don't, I don't get it, you know, type of thing. Yeah. You know, and like I said, I, and that the both of theirs was just that, that you felt for it. You really did feel for it. And their character development throughout the series was phenomenal. They did a great job. They did a yeah. phenomenal job doing that. So, yeah. Mm, so, we're not diving into all the characters, only maybe certain okay, ones. Okay, so we're going to talk about the ones we either enjoyed or really hated. Let's go with that then. How about yes. that? Yes. We want to start off. Hate hey, or. Hey, or Hannah. Hey, Hannah, hey, 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 hey. You got somebody who goes back in time just to tell you, fuck you. That, that, that just, that, that just. Oh my god, she was the worst. Oh my god. She and was then, the most jealous one of them. That's why if you guys saw her season, uh, in our episode center after she died, that's when we went, eh. Yeah. Because it's like, it's a, it's a type of thing where it's like we're satisfied, but it's just like, okay, whatever. It's like, what if? We don't we really don't care, because it's like, what she had it coming. At some point, she had it coming. Yeah. And what's worse is that it was by her own son's hand. You know, by her own son's hand. That's the, that, that, was the, that was the hardest part, you know, for her, at least. But she was just, Hold talk on. about manipulative as fuck. She was doing anything and everything. <laughs> yeah, because in our world, she hot, she um, blackmails uh, Doppler to uh, end Ulrich's career, mm -hmm. and in a the other world, world, she blackmails Doppler to end Charlotte's career. So as I said, she was like, she's supposed. That's why it's funny how her character is the one that ended the series. Her character, because it's like all comes back to pretty much this freaking chica, you know. But. I don't know, it's just, like I said, her character, I mean, they did a good job with her character, don't get me wrong, but she's like that character you hate the most, overall. Um, now the character, I don't know, the, the character I love, the, the character to love the most, I mean, they said, if, if, you know, besides Jonas and Martha, the character, you know, like the next character, it's, uh, I just, I, I really have to admit it was Katarina. Katarina? I would say I felt for her. I felt more bad for her. I felt. I felt. I. I, I don't know. I, I felt just, more bad for her. Because I, I would say Elizabeth is my one of my favorites. Elizabeth, not, not main character. Elizabeth, 
Because that girl goes through oh, so yeah. you know what? fucking yeah, you're right. much. Yeah. And, you know, she, she's snappy. She doesn't give a fuck what her older sister thinks. She just... She's her own character. She's mute, and, like, she goes through so much. <laughs> she goes through absolutely so much. Yeah, she... I think I think I I, I have to agree. That was that was, that was definitely my like I said. I think I, I just I forgot about Elizabeth, but it's it's more of like I I I, I really feel for her character because you understand what she went through, why she became the person she was in the future. You yeah. know she you know the way she had a she lost her family quite literally her family including her own daughter. But then even when she finally reunited with her own little daughter, you know realizing I'm the one who took my own daughter. You know realizing that she it's like. Okay, wow, you know, it's like really, she she came full circle understanding now. Yeah, like you pure, know? like, perseverance and all of that. If I had to choose, like, a second, it would probably be Noah, especially what we find out with yeah. him by the end of the I season. I think Noah, period. it just took time for us to understand his story, and then we got to understand his story, you're like, God damn, okay, yeah, I feel for him. Especially, like, us realizing that he technically killed his own father. Yeah, that's what he did. He did, he did, he did kill his own father, um... But this was all in his own journey to find his own daughter. You know, that that's the reason why he did all this, is just to find his own daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the key thing. Is it wasn't because he was dedicated to Adam because he was he believed in it. No, he was only doing it because following Adam, but also just at the same time, it gave him time to travel to time to find his daughter. Yeah. So that's what it was. Um But I mean I think I think the most <laughs> The WTF character in this series, and all you have to agree, because you hear us complain about it every single season, and that was Waller. Well, I don't get, get it, man. They knew. Like, they knew. The writers, because you know it's funny, the writers knew. Because in season one, never brought up. Season two, we get them starting. The but then you cut it. Then season three, they not only fuck with us by him losing an arm in AM's world, but then him about to explain it in the epilogue scene. Yeah, and, th and then the lights get cut off. You're like, no, you know, that's like you felt like there was like that. It felt like it was like a little inside joke they really wanted to put in there in that series overall. And his character, I enjoyed his character, even though his character, you know, was that you know working secretly, at, you know, in the other world at least, or at least in Jonas's world with uh, with uh, Doppler and things like that. Um, but uh, man, like I said, yeah. his character was like more of like, it felt like his inside joke to mess with everybody. Uh, other noble characters. Definitely Claudia for like what she went through just to get her daughter back mm -hmm. or find a, a version of the world where her daughter exists. Mm -hmm. e 80s Egon, especially during season two, I really liked because oh, he was just trying to find an answer and ultimately it was his own daughter that met his, you know, had me his end. I, just as after he realized everything. Just after he just finally put everything Bar out. Bartos for, man, being the third wheel on everything. <laughs> Bartos, I have to admit, was like essential. They gave a bit more in season three with I think the AM right. version. Well, that's what I said. I think Bartos was more key essential in the third season. You know, he was more like first two seasons was just like, okay, he's there. That's it. You know, but I think the third season, he, it was like he was really key to everything. You know, he's really key to what all put the, all this was put together. You know, he was kind of the answer. To, well, not really the answer, but he helped, you know, guide certain characters the way they yeah. were. You know, but... Yeah, like you said, I just, man, I mean, I think that's enough for characters. I mean, we did. But honestly, so we usually do best moments or favorite moments. But with but this series, the way it went overall, now I'm going to ask you, you probably leave in the comments or as we're chatting with you guys, but what is your most shocking moment in this series overall? I mean, we're not even going to list. There's like so many shocking moments in this series overall. What was the one that had you just like, like losing your shit very much? Was it the season two finale when they dropped that? You know, with the whole, you know, oh, it's not, you know, uh, you know, you know, when, when, but where, you know, type of thing. Yeah. You know, but what is your most shocking moment? I mean, what for us, what, what was yours? Uh, I don't think about that. What's yours? <laughs> God damn it, I'm trying to think this whole time. Because it's difficult, because there's a lot of moments. Like, if I had to choose one right now, it would be the moment that really cemented what the show is going to be from, like, season one onward, and that's the reveal that um, Michael was Mikkel, and Mikkel yeah. was Michael. 
that for me. Yeah, if I had know. to choose the core, if I had to choose one, it would be that. I think there for was me, a lot of shock, but I that for, one. I think for me, it had to have been the season two finale. The point, the point where she comes in, and that's what really kind of sealed up what um, season three was going to be all about, pretty much, and what kind of like what kind of help explain even more of what's going on with everything. And, and like I said, and just just the, just the drop of where she's just like, you know, I, you know, I'm not from this world. You know, I'm from a whole other world. That's a really was just like, cause you thought, oh, okay, this is just time travel. Now we're done. Now we're it's like it was that moment where we're like, okay, now we're world hopping. You know, we're not we're not going from time to time period. No, we're going from one world to another whole other world. And that really kind of opened it up. That's where it got me scared a little. I, bit. I chose the Mikel Michael thing because it expanded on a possibility of so many different things about to happen or going to happen in the long run. Yeah, exactly. For the most part. And like, Mikkel being uh, Jonas's uh, uh, father really took everything, like, took everything he already knew and flipped it on his head because yeah. like, now guess what? Okay, who's this person related to? Okay, who's they related to? That's where it opened, up, it opened the gates of like, who's connected to who, who's related to who. Yeah, because other shocking moments could be ranging from like fa family out family relations to like anything from when we first traveled to the eighties, yeah. you know, just all over the place. Yeah, but just a lot of shocking. But whew. I think the Mikel Michael reveal. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, me, like I said, that was it. That was for me. It was the season two finale reveal at the very end. Yeah. So now one more thing we're talking about putting in the comments down below your most shocking moment yeah but there's another thing we want you guys to do so in the comments down below go to our dark playlist yes find your favorite moment of our reactions link it and put the timestamp. please we know there's enough people who watch this yeah put it down below we'll put it in the description to remind you to do that put it down below and then within the next couple weeks or so We'll, we'll put Hopefully, it all together. We'll slap it all together and do like one highlight montage of our, our, best, our best, our best moment, the best moments you enjoyed of our reactions to this overall. Yeah, I mean, just so, link it to us, and then we'll put it, put together a compilation yeah. and put it a special thing saying, hey, you know, we'll even tag some of you guys. People going, this is from these, you know, from this, this, like, this like link it, timestamp it, or I know there's a way you can. Put the timestamp into the link yeah, for yeah. that. So please do that for us, and we'll put yeah. a montage for you guys. Oh yeah, you know, a lot of you enjoyed our reaction, both positive and negative, especially season one when we were watching the English dub. But yeah, and that's gonna be it. So, whew. so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about dark. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought, pretty much, uh, of this series. Not only series finale overall, but also season three, the series itself. Let us know what you guys enjoyed about it. You know, what what drew you in, what pretty much dragged you in, what, what pretty much had you so just thrilled about this series. Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction uh, overall of the series and everything. But most importantly, we thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Now for what's next for us for our hour-long usually reaction shows. As of right now, we don't know. We're going to pretty take a, a week or so off. We take still a little breather because we still are working on uh, Harley we, Quinn. We still got Harley Quinn and we're not going to be done with that anytime soon because... We dive right into season because, two even after that. Because we still got to jump into season two. Yeah. So right now, we don't know at the moment. Well, I can tell you, it's most likely going to be one of the other ones that were voted on. Yeah. One of the other shows that were voted on and we're going to go from there. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're going to go from one of those shows from there on. But there's still a lot of stuff coming up. Please look forward to it. Please continue subscribing to our channel. And of course, I know he has said, but if you, well, guys, you fan, dark fans, or yeah. what have you seen us write stuff, if there's another show where it's similar or it has the same tone that you think we would be interested in, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. We can add it to a list and we can consider it uh, for our next reactions. Yeah, so, you never know. And, and once again, comment down below, timestamp, link, about your favorite your favorite parts of our reaction yeah your favorite dark. moments of our reactions yeah <laughs> so until next time though i'm chris i'm christopher and this has been a very paradise filled episode of srb 
TV. We'll see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRP shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.